हमारी सहयोगी नेहा हेबाले ने कर्नाटक कांग्रेस चीफ डी के शिवकुमार से खास बातचीत की नतीजा आने से एक दिन पहले क्या कुछ कहा डी के शिवकुमार ने वो सुनी Well, the people of Karnataka have cast their vote, and there's just a couple of hours now left for the counting to go. We're being joined by the Karnataka Congress President, Mr. D K Shivakumar, sir. We've seen what the exit polls have had to say. If we do take an average of the exit polls, it wouldn't be wrong to say that the Congress Party is being portrayed as having a lead this election. How confident are you right now? What is your number in times now? What was your prediction? I want to know about it. It, it suggests. Congress party has a lead, sir. Lead means what is the number? A majority. Times now. Yeah, it it has a majority, sir. Thank you, thank you. I'd like to congratulate you for your uh, survey, whatever you have done, and exit polls. Anyway, I'm fully confident. Not even a single point I have any doubt on it. Our hard work will pay. Okay, okay, sir. Um, Obviously, we saw that the Congress Party held a meeting, sir, yesterday with all 223 MLAs. You know, you spoke with the MLAs as well. What is the mood, sir? What is the feedback you have received from the MLAs? No, we want all of them to come back to Bangalore as soon as uh, the results are out. We want them to be very cautious on the polling. We want all MLA candidates to be at the polling station. We want them. See, because now there are not a lot of number of uh, uh, postal ballots and uh, eight years age. Uh, the running ruling government may try to create a lot of confusion. Even in my constituency, the polling officers were just creating a lot of confusion. They were not allowing any people with a Xerox paper. They were asking to bring versions, all texts. Even I, in my own constituency, I could see that. So they play a lot of mischiefs. We want all of them to be very cautious on this. Okay. Um, so it wouldn't be wrong to say today that the BJP is also looking very confident of their numbers, and you know certain sections of the JDS have evidently portrayed that you know they might even go for an alliance with a party, sir. I want to ask you frankly: Has there been any you know exploration at all, sir, about this about an alliance with the JDS? I don't have any. Uh, issues, JDS has not approached us, or I don't know from my party. Still, I have not spoken to anyone. That situation will not arise. We will have an absolute majority. God will be people of Karnataka are highly matured. Uh, matured. They will not go for any fracture mandate. Sir, you are seeming quite confident, but you know, if we are, of course, while most of the exit polls predict that you know you have a lead or a majority, if we are to go by the others, which suggests that there could be a fractured mandate, are we at all looking at a possibility of an alliance, sir? In that case, if a full majority is not sought, we will have an absolute majority. I am confident on it. I am a political man. I am a party president. I know the length and breadth of Karnataka. I know the feelings of Karnataka. They want a change. They wanted to root out corruption. They want to settle price rise. That is why we have given these five guarantees so that every common man will be benefited out of it. We know there will be a lot of heat on small development, but Karnataka is able to face it. Karnataka is one strength. Karnataka will give a good government with a good governance. Sir, a few BJP leaders have said today, and they have specified numbers as well, saying that you know, in 30,000 booths or in 33,000 booths, we are going to be taking a lead. The fact that you know such specific numbers have been given shows that they are quite confident. Sir, how are you seeing this? Or how are you you know responding to this? No, let them. Have. I don't uh, uh, dispute their dream, but their dream will not be desired. Okay. Our dream, our dream is a dedicated dream. Which will fulfil our dream. Okay. Okay. So our some, dream will always be on reality. So there were some concerns raised about the EVMs by the Congress Party, saying that you know a few EVMs which were deployed in South Africa have now been brought to Karnataka, but the Election Commission has ruled this out. So was this based on some specific information that you know this was? We had lot of information, different type of information, including addition, deletions, hmm. 
and they also have misused lot of uh, polling officers as i rightly said even in my own constituency they created not to vote to for the people who did not have the originals they brought xerox so lot of instruction then i had to shout myself to the returning officer anyway let us see all is over only counting is left tomorrow afternoon we'll meet at this time so the big question on everyone's mind now if you know we are to go by what most of the exit polls have predicted the congress getting a majority sir question arises now about the cm face and we've seen that you know of course there has always been a good amount of contenders for this in the congress party sir so who is likely to be you know is that something that's being discussed no one has discussed me anything i am the party president that's all okay i am the party president I work hard. Always, those who work hard will be paid. Hmm. Royalty also will pay royalty. This is what I can tell you. Okay. So the tradition has been sometimes that the party presidents generally go on to make CM. So are we going to be seeing a repeat of that? No, I don't want to comment on that. I will leave it to my party high command. My high command is very much important. They will have to look at the national and the future of the Congress Party. Okay. Thank. Well, that was Mr. D K Shivakumar there, you know, giving us all that's important and more ahead of the selection. Well, you know, just a couple of hours now left to go, and we'll really have to wait and see what comes out of the counting. So, Nadija, आने से एक दिन पहले आपको बता दें कि D 